Hey guys, welcome to and thank you for watching Heat Check. This is a series where I review the latest, greatest, and most popular sneaker releases at the time. So that can range from shoes, sneakers, or any kind of footwear really. This is a series where I review the latest, greatest, and most popular sneaker releases at the time. Provided I can get my hands on them, of course. This isn't my first video per se, my first video on YouTube of course, but I've done a bunch more on my Instagram which I'll leave in the description. Moving on from all of that though, let's get into the video. All right, so these are the Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0s that came out around a week ago on April 11th. These are a very highly anticipated colorway and it's mostly because of the Chicago color blocking that it has and that's not too far from your regular Jordan 1 high. The Court Purples come in the same exact color blocking as the Chicago Jordan 1s, which are arguably the most popular Jordan 1s of all time. This is one of the main factors that made this colorway so anticipated and desired. Just as the Chicago's are, these are clean, simple, and look pretty good all around. After going over these, I can say that they don't have any spectacular leather like the shattered backboards, but they also don't have any trash leather like the contour ones from last year. The leather is very middle of the pack, so very average. It'll get the job done, but it won't blow your mind or any of that. So yeah, the creases won't be too bad, and. It'll hold, up, it'll hold the test of time, if anything. The court purples come with a pair of black laces ready for you to lace them up as soon as you get them. Just like the Chicago's, which are the same color blocking. The only thing is that instead of coming with a similar shade of purple to match for the extra laces, it comes with these purple dyed laces. I know I said purple dyed, but they remind me more of white laces that got dyed purple. There's a beautiful alternating fade throughout the laces, which are very unique to them but I don't think they suit the court purples that much. The court purples are basically identical to the majority of popular Jordan 1 releases, except for its Nike Air Tag, which is made in leather instead of the standard nylon. I'll be using the 2016 Jordan 1 Black Toes on the right for comparison. They have a thin nylon tag, while the court purples have a thicker leather tag. Also, on the back of the Black Toes tag, there's a text that usually comes on the tag, while the court purples do not have it. It doesn't really bother me as it's such a minor detail on the shoe, and if anything, it serves as a way to differentiate from the other Jordan 1 releases. So, I'd say I'm in favor for it. But yeah, the Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0s, they're another great addition to the many Jordan 1s that we have, and if you're able to get these, I'd say go out and get them. But besides that, thank you for watching my first YouTube video, and there's many more to come. Have a great day. Peace.